Hello everybody, my name is Gabe, and in this episode of Let's Make Rust, we're going to uh, make some advanced AI. So uh, we're going to make our AI be able to attack us, essentially. So we're just going to get straight to it. I'm going to go to our AI folder, and I'm going to make a new script called Advanced Enemy AI, and open that up. Alright, so to start off the script, I'm just going to remove all this. I'm also going to open up basic AI so we can take some things from it that we're going to need, such as uh, things like this. I'll just take this whole start method and all these variables. And uh, yeah, that's fine. Just copy that. Paste that. Okay, so now uh, we're going to make a way for the AI to only see us from the front. So I'm going to make a ray an update, so private void update, oops, a little laggy, sorry. Alright, so I'm going to make a ray called new ray, or sorry, view ray, and this is equal to a new ray from the transform.position and vector3.forward. Okay, and I'm going to make ray cast hit, uh, view ray hit. Okay, so I'm going to do over here if physics dot ray cast uh, we're gonna do view ray view ray hit and let's make a view range so I'll make a public float here called view range which is equal to uh, for now we'll just make it about 25 so if there are 25 uh, units in front of us or less uh, then the enemy will see us okay so I'll just type in here view range Okay, I forgot to put out, sorry, you have to put out here for the, uh, for where you put your raycast hit. Okay, I'm going to debug this ray to make sure it's all working, so debug.draw ray, view ray, uh, view ray dot point, or where was it, view ray dot origin, view ray dot uh, direction multiplied by the view range. All right, so we have that. So if we go into our game and go to one of the enemies, we'll just make one of them. So I'll just, uh, I'll disable all these. Uh, where else? This one I'll disable as well. And this one. Okay, so I'll just call this uh, enemy advanced go to the prefabs and I'll just drag them in there okay we're gonna remove this capsule collider or not the capsule collider we're gonna remove our sphere collider which is the our big sphere that we made for uh, detecting the player so I'm just gonna remove that uh, I'm gonna remove basic AI and yeah okay that's good for the script I'm going to attach advanced enemy AI there we go so if we hit play and we go to the scene view, you should see that uh, we are debugging this view ray. So this is um, from where he will uh, see us. So if we walk past this ray, he will find us. Uh, later we'll make the ray higher so that we can perhaps crouch under him, which m might look a little weird, but uh, it'll do. I'll actually give this a color, so I'll do color color.red so if we hit play again and go back into our scene view we should see a red ray that's for the view okay we're gonna have to now make another ray so I'm gonna make ray hit ray or sorry I'll call this actually attack ray which is equal to a new ray transformed up position uh, vector 3 Okay, so I'm going to make another if statement here. So we're going to do if physics dot ray cast uh, view ray out, and I'm going to make uh, out view ray hit, and we're going to do now attack range. So if I go over here, 
make it another public float called attack range, and I'll make this about five. So that should be good. I actually made a typo here. View ray. Okay. Uh, instead of making this uh, view ray, I'll actually just rename this to ray. So if you are in Visual Studio, you can highlight um, the word, and all these words, view ray, are going to be highlighted. And if we hold control and double tap R, uh, we'll pop up with this thing called rename view ray. And I'll just call it ray and enter. And same thing for view ray hit, I'll just call this hit info. Okay. That's because I had a different system plan, but we're going to kind of move over to this one because it's uh, easier. So now we're going to do... Okay, so I'm going to make a boolean here called public bool. Um, let's see, is, is detected, or is chasing rather, false. So, okay, so now we're going to start using is chasing. So, um, if is chasing is equal to false, then we will do uh, actually above that, we'll do if hit info dot target or sorry, dot collider dot tag is equal to player and I'll put this in here if chasing is false then is chasing is equal, equal to true okay and in update I'm gonna make if is chasing is equal to true and we're just gonna do uh, agent dot set destination and we're gonna get the player transform so player transform dot transform dot position or not that transform the position just I think we could just do dot position yeah dot position so now we need to get the player transform so uh, player transform is equal to hit info dot collider dot get component transform all right so that should work Let's try that out. All right, so I made a little bit of a weird mistake. Um, I actually put this in the if physics.raycast, so I'm gonna have to cut that out and put it here. Uh, actually, I'll move that down, down one. Okay, over here is fine. And um, this should work now. So if we go over to here. Yep, there he goes, he's chasing us now. I did give him a rigid body, so you might want to do that as well. Uh, it wasn't working earlier, and uh, I didn't know why, so I uh, tried a bunch of uh, methods, and turns out it was because I made a programmatical error where I put the uh, is chasing inside of the uh, inside of this physics check, which is, uh, which is very retarded of me, but it turns out uh, in the end it worked. Uh, the error that I just got was because we left clicked with the um, melee script and it didn't find that basic AI script so as you could see if his tag is enemy we're gonna find that basic AI script but it's not there so it gave us back an error so instead of basic AI we're gonna put over here advanced enemy AI instead of basic AI I'll just call this enemy let's see enemy AI up here and advanced enemy AI alright so that should work Advanced enemy AI. Enemy AI to take damage, damage. Okay. This isn't working yet because we don't have that method implemented. So I'm going to go now and create that. So public void uh, take damage. Damage. Was that an integer? I do believe it was. I'll check in a second if it doesn't work. So help hold minus equal damage. And debug.log. Enemy took damage. Oops damage and now has plus health health okay uh, let's go back to the melee and it doesn't look like we have any errors all right so let's try this out now go up to the enemy 
but it's not dying. Uh, so back to the advanced enemy AI script. We're gonna make a private void, private void here called uh, death. Or instead of that, we'll do private void uh, check health. If health is less than or equal to zero, then we will do uh, destroy. Oops, destroy game object. In the future, when we have a model, we will do animations and things like that. Okay, so if we hit play now. Go up to the enemy. And... Oops, I, I forgot to actually check for this, so go back to update. And we're going to do check health. Alright, so if we try that again, it should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. And there we go, he disappeared, and that's what we wanted. Alright, I'm out of time for today, so in the next episode we're going to be working on the advanced AI a little bit more. We're going to kind of uh, make it so that when we hit the enemy, he will, fi uh, he will find us, and when we get further from the enemy, uh, he will eventually start wandering. We'll do wandering, things like that. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching guys, have a good one.